has changed. Maybe war has changed, but the instinct of humanity's search for meaning and life lessons never changes. The Metal Gear series has a complex story that spans across the whole 20th century from World War II, the Cold War, the Angolan Civil War, and many other fictional wars. Trying to summarize the whole story of the Metal Gear series could be quite messy and confusing for many. So this video is only extracting out the most inspiring life lessons from our main father and son characters, the Big Boss and Solid Snake. Even Big Boss and Solid Snake did not take part in the same war as Jocko Willink. I thought they all shared some admirable and inspiring qualities of an exceptional military leader that made Snake and Big Boss the ultimate soldiers in video game history and Jocko the extreme owner of discipline. If you haven't heard of Jocko, he's a retired Navy SEAL who fought in Iraq war and host of the popular Jocko podcast and author of the book Extreme Ownership. Hope our aspiring leaders and gamers can learn something from Snake, Big Boss and Jocko then apply into real life practical situations. Before we start, if you like the idea of learning from video game heroes mixed with real life lessons, maybe subscribe. Rule number one, fight with humility. Solid Snake rejected the idea that he was a hero. Even people around him kept praising him as a legend and showed him deep admiration. I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. His humbleness, vulnerabilities, and courageous sense of duty that drives him to get on with his job are what makes us look up to him that defines his character. Imagine if Snake brags about his own heroic action and how great he was with his skills in all his killings. Okay, what are we gonna learn from him? He would have become totally unrelatable and unreal that we would unconsciously lose our respect we had for Snake. The real Snake is the soldier who had been through the hell of war to fulfill his duties with no pride who struggled through tremendous emotional and physical pain while still humbly standing as a nomad fighter who had no longing for any status or power. Since we are humans, we are all fucked up in some way. Snake's humility is to me the most inspiring and favorable character which gives us hope that despite all our sufferings in life, we can still fight with humility and not be a jerk. Here is what Jocko says about humility. Yep. That's where humility comes from. You realize that you're not perfect and you realize that nobody is. And don't be embarrassed. And don't be abusive when you do do well. You know, that's a thing, again, that's a thing about jujitsu and it's a thing about life. You realize you're not gonna be, there's always gonna be someone that's better than you. That's okay, just be humble. Learn from it. Rule number two, know what you believe in and why you fight. Solid Snake had always fought for something greater than himself. He was a soldier with a solid conviction that no individuals could share the same path and that each person should find his own truth and beliefs for himself so that he knows what he is fighting for. In Metal Gear Solid 2, Wyden was hoping to live up to the legend of Solid Snake and Snake shared this wise advice to him. Find something to believe in and find it for yourself. And when you do, pass it on to the future. Believe in what? That's your problem. While a lot of people are struggling to find meaning and purpose in life, looking for directions and answers in the external world while trying to be liked and approved by all these other people, they are missing the point that Snake is trying to make here. You can only find your why, your purpose, and what you truly believe in if you dig deep inside your heart. It is the inner voice that drives you forward. The answer always lies within rather than without. Because only when you find it for yourself would it be genuinely meaningful to you and makes you self-motivated to attack regardless of external circumstances. So ask yourself, what is it that I really want in this life? What am I actually fighting for here? Who am I meant to be? Now do you remember who you are? What you were meant to do? After you have clarified your why, your calling, it can act as a powerful force, like a jet engine that propels you towards where you want to go. It will also shine a clearer light on which action will advance you toward your goal and which one will leave you stranded on the shore of death stranding. That's the time we will say goodbye to our meaningless existence and move towards our dreams. Thanks for your wisdom, Kojima. That was perfect. Let's hear what Jocko has to say. We all need a mission. That's what life should be is a mission. That's what gives your life purpose and focus and drive and ultimately satisfaction. 
Rule number three, execute with discipline and willpower. Solid Snake entered the Green Beret in his youth and started his life of a disciplined soldier before becoming a Black Ops for the Fox unit. His years of intense military training and experience programmed his mind with a high level of discipline and willpower, heightened levels of endurance that allowed him to survive prolonged periods of pain and torture. Only in his 30s, his body entered a state of accelerated aging. Due to the intentional genetic changes made during the cloning process, Les Enfants de Libre, his health started to decline, but his mental toughness never showed any signs of weakening. When Ryland offered to head to the microwave protected server room in Outer Haven, Snake refused, saying that Ryland shouldn't waste his youth. Do you still have your youth? Don't waste it. You can start over. From here on. This is my fight. Through sheer willpower and willingness of self-sacrifice, Snake survived, passing through the corridor and went on to defeat Liquid Ocelot in an epic geriatric hand-to-hand -hand combat. Though he was born with what was known as Big Boss's flawed recessive genes, he defeated Liquid Snake, the clone with Big Boss's dominant genes. Naomi also stated an ordinary person wouldn't even be able to stand in his condition and the only thing keeping him moving and fighting is his will. Snake, the only thing keeping you together is the strength of your will. Discipline and willpower are such powerful but underrated qualities, especially in this digital age full of temptations and distractions such as porn. Its value had only gone up. Ah, oh, come on, quiet. I'm trying to focus here. Discipline and willpower are not just requirements for soldiers, but they are necessity in everyday life for everyone who wants to achieve his own definition of success. Jocko's motto is discipline equals freedom. He says that only through hard work and sacrifice we can have the freedom we desire tomorrow. On the other hand, undisciplined freedom today equals slavery to fear, regrets, and insecurities in the future. Sounds pretty simple, but let's see if you can start practicing discipline today. Discipline can seem like your worst enemy, but in reality, it is your best friend. Discipline. It will make you better and stronger and smarter and faster and healthier than anything else. And most important, it will make you free. Discipline equals freedom. Rule number four, do combat training. After Nicky Snake joined the army, he met his mentor who would then become the biggest influence in his life, the boss. She was the charming lady who was also known as the mother of special forces. Snake held a remarkable level of reference for the boss and looked to her as a mother figure. She trained Snake from his youth and taught him all the combat techniques and maneuvers that he needed to master while preparing him for war. Snake and the boss later developed CQC together, an efficient combat style that allows a light lightning quick transition between use of an armed weapon and hand-to-hand -hand combat for close encounters with the enemy. CQC closely resembled a mix of judo, jujitsu, and kickboxing. One of the reasons players love the gameplay of Metal Gear Solid so much is because of the effortless flow of the CQC mechanic. Controlling Snake while he delivers his devastating blow to the enemy soldier never gets old and is endlessly satisfying. Unconsciously, we all wish to have that fearless and superior combat skill that Snake had trained years for. And I know Jocko would definitely recommend us to start training Jiu-Jitsu to gain that supreme confidence. The best thing you can do as a human so that you don't have to fight is actually learn how to fight. That is the best way to not have to fight is if you know how to fight. If you know how to fight, people aren't gonna wanna fight you. You don't even have to say anything, they can tell. You can tell when you meet somebody. You can tell if that person, oh, if, you, if you're ready to fight, people don't wanna fight you. Rule number five, think like a spiritual soldier. Once upon a time, young Nick Snake was questioning his mentor, the boss, if she really had taught him everything he needed to know. He seemed so attached to her that he was not yet willing to let go of her shadow and become a true independent soldier. The boss answered that she already taught him all the techniques. Snake, still unsatisfied, asked her what about how to think like a soldier. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. 
A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. While the boss could not answer Snake's question, it is true that no individual shares the same answer on their own path of spiritual journey. We just have to figure it out for ourselves. Maybe Jocko could provide a more practical spiritual advice on how to think like a soldier. Symbol of the ancient masters that bring discipline into your heart and into your soul. Once you have done these things, you'll realize that they're all crap. What you need to do is when the alarm goes off, you get up and you go get some. That's what you do. Impose discipline on your life. That's the way it works. Personally, I don't believe that discipline is the only answer on the spiritual aspect of a soldier. Just discipline by itself could limit the soldier's perspective and will of choice, which makes him no difference from a robot. But I believe discipline is an important first step on becoming a spiritual soldier. No matter how much spiritual longings or wisdom we have in our heart, without the proper discipline to carry it out, it is impossible to bring our soul's intentions into reality. After you have acquired discipline, my personal advice for the next step would be practicing presence of mind. It is a very important aspect of war, which is part of being a spiritual soldier. I might talk about it in a separate video if you are interested, so get after it and become an inspired soldier or be an inspired gamer. Rule number 6. Focus on your mission. During the virtuous mission in Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, the boss asked young Naked Snake through the radio if he knew about the meaning of an ancient saying, loyalty to the end. She explained to Snake that soldiers are tools of the government, machines of war. They follow orders given to them without questions, right or wrong, or their feelings have no place in the mission. The mission is all they ever have. As long as soldiers believe in this ideology, the only thing they can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission and staying focused and loyal to it until the end. I am not here to judge about politics, and Snake was ready to die for the political leaders anyway. I guess the lesson we can take from Snake's focus on loyalty to his mission is that it allowed him to be brutally efficient, killing it at his objectives one at a time, while blocking out any distractions from judgments and emotions. Nothing could disturb his single-minded focus on the mission. This kind of trained ignorance is not a sign of weakness, but a sign of strong will. So stop wasting time on the things that don't matter, not related to your mission. Turn your mind away from the things that upset it and focus on your mission with full concentrated attention. As leaders, I see people getting caught up all the times in little things that will not affect the outcome unless they let it. And I see people getting caught up on things that don't matter all the time. And what I've realized is, you know what? That thing doesn't matter, I'm not gonna worry about it. That thing doesn't matter, I'm not gonna worry about it. That thing doesn't matter, I'm not gonna worry about it. That thing matters, I'm gonna focus on that thing. That makes a big, a big, big, big difference. It's, it's leadership capital. Rule number seven, keep fighting the campaign for yourself. As mentioned in the second rule, Solid Snake was a soldier who believed firmly in what he was fighting for. His fight and his destiny was to fight for no one but for himself. In fact, Snake was the ultimate lone wolf warrior, doing most of his stealth espionage operations, as written on the box, which had equipped him with extreme ownership and self-reliance. Quiet, Eva, Meryl, D-Dog, all these companions were only a bonus for him, but never essential. I've never been interested in anyone else's life. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. His ideology might sound a bit selfish and even antisocial, but it could be also quite practical for us to apply into our lives. To Snake, people just make his life more complicated. This is especially true for us in this time where we are exploded with other people's status and posts on social media. How many times we have been upset by unnecessary comparisons between what other people are doing and saying with our own lives. Maybe we should all learn from Snake and not give a fuck about other people's lives so that we could make room to have our valuable peace of mind back. 
and with it, the freedom and focus to fight your own campaign for the best possible version of yourself. The boss was right in the end. It is not about changing the world. It is about doing our best to live the world the way it is. We might not be able to change the world, but we can definitely change ourselves. So keep fighting the campaign for the best version of yourself. Getting better is a campaign. It's a campaign, it's a daily, a weekly, it's an hourly fight. An incessant fight that doesn't stop against weakness and against temptation and against laziness. It's a campaign of discipline, it's a campaign of hard work and dedication. It's waking up early and going to bed late and grinding out every second in between, every single day. Rule number eight, don't regret your past, learn from it. Solid Snake and Big Boss had gone through so much hell and traumas from their inevitable killing in wars. Despite their psychological turmoil and pain, they lived on because in the end, they chose not to dwell on the hell of regret. During Operation Snake Eater, Nicky Snake was assigned a mission by the US government to kill his most respected mentor, the boss, who had been defected to the Soviet Union according to the government. It was one of the most depressing and emotional moments of Metal Gear series. While Snake reluctantly pointed his gun at his mother figure who had given him everything she could give. Upon returning to America, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross and the title Big Boss from the US President, but he refused to adopt his code name out of his guilt for killing his mentor. Nick Snake was never the same after Operation Snake Eater as he learned that the entire mission, including the boss's supposed defection, was a ruse set up by the US government to gain control of the philosopher's legacy. Access to a massive collection of wealth left by secret leaders of the post-World War II nations, Snake held deep resentment to the government's manipulative decision and retired from the Fox unit, refusing to be a tool to be used for the former government. He partnered up with Miller and founded the MSF, Soldiers Without Borders, a small military faction that provides service to anyone who needs military force, regardless of nations or ideology. In 1974, the Peace Walker incident was a wake-up call for Snake when he finally decided to accept the death of the boss. Extracting out what it means to him and its learnings, he decided to respect the willful sacrifice of the boss and let go of the sorrow and regret he had been holding on to. Liberated from the past, he is now the big boss. I won't make the same choice as her. My future is going to be different. Then. Yeah, that's right. From now on, call me Big Boss. Regret, in and of itself, it's worthless. It does nothing for you. In fact, the only valuable thing in regret is the lesson you learned the knowledge that you gained. But walking around filled with regret gets you nothing. So learn and move on. Rule number nine, lead with total accountability, love and loyalty. Have you ever wondered why Big Boss seemed so charmingly sexy, charismatic, strong and tall? That's because he leads his men with total accountability, love and loyalty. Yeah, I know it sounds a bit corny, but I hope you remember this rule more clearly now. Even Phantom Snake is not our main star in this video. I really feel that he deserves a spot in this list, and I hope he will be remembered as an indispensable leader of the Diamond Dogs, who had made so much sacrifice for the big boss. The most tragic incident in Metal Gear Solid 5 was the parasite outbreak that occurred at the mother base. Many infected staff who were held in the quarantine area had turned into zombie-like attackers. Phantom Snake had no choice but to eliminate every one of his own fellow soldiers who were in Factor to stop the parasite from spreading. Holding total accountability, Big Boss rejected Miller's offer of assembling a squad to help with the clearance, and he insisted that he would go into the dark zone by himself. Just give the order and I'll, I'll go alone. Boss, what are you? There's no need for that. We can't afford to lose anyone else. We have no idea what's going on exactly. In there. Anyone still alive that they're breaking? We literally felt the pain in our hearts while Big Boss was pulling the trigger one by one towards his men and then falling onto his knees with a devastating gesture of pain and sorrow. Big Boss was usually a calm and reserved man who rarely showed his emotions. 
But after the funeral of his dead fellow soldiers, Big Boss stopped the marching soldiers who were about to scatter the ashes into the sea and said something that almost melted my heart. I won't scatter your sorrow to the heartless sea. be with you. Big Boss really showed his true compassionate heart and loyalty to his men, how much he cared and valued them as his respected soldiers. His total accountability as a leader actually boosted the surviving soldiers morale and loyalty even more than before. Phantom Snake also displayed compassion toward his enemies and preferred fair and righteous treatments. He chose not to kill Quiet but instead had her imprisoned after her attempted assassination. In fact, Quiet respected Phantom Snake's standard of humanity and compassion so much that he defected to the Diamond Dogs and turned into his loyal ally and partner with a strong bond, even sacrificing herself in the end to save the life of Phantom Snake while he was beaten by a Phantom Snake. Don't hide your delicate pride from the truth. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mission. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life and lead. Rule number 10, don't waste your life. Death will be coming to you. Solid Snake's accelerated aging actually made him more willing to accept death. During the events of the Guns of the Patriots incident, Snake calmly accepted the inevitability of his impending death. Because of this, he was even more willing to risk his life and die trying. Snake had no fear of death because he found his calling on the battlefield and fulfilled his own meaning in life through constant fighting. He believed the battlefield was the only place where he felt truly alive. His fight was his destiny. This is my fight. My destiny. Snake's total acceptance and love of fate is what truly inspires our spirits. So what is it that makes you feel truly alive? Where is your battlefield? What would you do if you only had one year to live? Even we are not injected with the fox die virus or undergoing accelerated aging like Solid Snake was. The truth is every person on this planet is born with a death sentence. Each second that passes by is one you'll never get back. In reality, we are all dying slowly. Don't waste the life you have left fighting. So stop thinking we have limitless time. Like Snake, we must embrace the idea of death to turn it into our favor rather than trying to hide from it. Living with a sense of urgency and feeling death at your doors will make all your actions more certain, more forceful. So now, let us all pretend to be soldiers ready for deployment and be prepared for the possibility that we might not see tomorrow. That's the real answer of how to think like a soldier. You're all diamonds. Brother. Thank you for watching. Hope you've learned something from Big Boss, Solid Snake, and Jocko. Comment down below which one of Snake's rules for life spoke to you most, and what mission are you fighting for? If you enjoyed the video and would like to learn more inspiring message of video games, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. This will help my fight of extracting and sharing wisdom from video game heroes and turning people into real life heroes.